this is the race for the Monaco Grand Prix. We saw that what happened in qualifying earlier on. And just to recap the 2007 result, Sebastian Vettel won from Rosberg and Kleon after an instant packed race. Vettel went on to dominate after Raikkonen and Hamilton both collided at just before the casino. A recap of Q1, Senna was the fastest man on the track from Vettel, Davidson, Raikkonen, Trulli and Suttil. SF1, AJ, GRM and Autodynamics failed to qualify and FJR and Dodgem looked a bit out of sorts, particularly FJR. In Q2 it was Jensen Button who took another pole position for Tornado beating off Maldonado and Senna. Shannon were denied a 1-2 on the grid after Jensen Button's fantastic lap. And here we can see the lap. Going on to the start finish straight. At this point he is 21st place. Up the hill towards Massonet. Very late on the brakes. This is that was where he crashed last year with Shannon. In the mirror bar, he is actually down at this point, just by a hundred, but every tenth of a tenth of a second counts at a circuit like this. Into the tunnel. This is flat out, no problem. And the second sector point. He was still down, this time by two hundredths. So it was all in the last sector where Jensen Button made it up on Maldonado. Made it up and a little bit more as well. Just going through the corner where Mark Webber crashed from second place. Driving for this very team actually. In the green tornado. This year the tornado is blue. And blue seems to be the magic colour for tornado. And there was Jensen Button going 300 faster by the end of it. Here's highlights from the sprint race of the FF2M race at Imola.
Now action at Monza for the Fantasy Formula Renault 3.5 series with your commentator Andrew Jones. Round 2 of the Fantasy Formula Renault 3.5 series comes from Monza and it's Nico Hulkenberg on pole position for the second race in a row with Luis Razzia alongside him and it, the lights are out and away we go and Al Suarez gets a great start but gets balked by Hulkenberg and Hulkenberg leads down into the first corner with Razzia challenging. And Razzia sticks his nose up the inside and goes through. And Oliver Turvey follows in past Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg losing momentum off the start. And now challenged by Borja Garcia and indeed Garcia is through and so is Bianchi. Hulkenberg trying to get him back as we complete the first lap. And meanwhile Sam Bird having a look at the two Carlin Motorsport cars and he's going to get past Perez as well. Hulkenberg doesn't manage to get past Bianchi but Bird is up into 6th place and Perez takes a trip across the grass and he's now vulnerable to the Carlin Motorsport cars behind. And now Bird having a look at Hulkenberg but he's not going to get through through Kruver Grandi. Lap 4. Hulkenberg and Bird have now passed Bianchi and Wickens tries it and he goes off into the gravel. Will he be able to get his way out of the gravel? And Bianchi now has lost momentum and he's going to be passed here. Vittori sits Perez into the Frenchman and he's off and out of the race. And Perez drops back as well. Meanwhile Perez's teammate Salvador Duran spins. He hits the back of Nelson Pantitici and he's out of the race. Hulkenberg now making his way back through the field and he's going to pass the Spaniard Borja Garcia into the first corner. But it's Luis Razzia who leads from the first corner to the last corner and he takes the, the win for the second round of the championship ahead of Oliver Turvey with Nico Hulkenberg third, Borja Garcia fourth, Sam Bird fifth and Jaime Alguasari sixth team now goes to Monaco where they will support the FF1 Emirate. Join us next time to find out what happened. So that was action from the Fantasy Formula Renault 3.5 at Monza. Now we return to Monaco where we recap the starting grid. It is of course Jensen Button on pole position from the two Shannons. Button on the hard tyres so He's got a big advantage in the race already. His teammate is in fifth. And the overtaking looking quite difficult as well. He's going to have need a special strategy. 
Now, Gi Racing have won uh, qualified 8th and 9th, but they've won from 14th already this season, so on paper it seems like they can do it again, but Monaco is a very unusual circuit. And both FJRs down there as well in 14th and 15th, they also need a special strategy. Now we get ready for the race. Lights are up, coming on, four, five, lights are on. Cars revving and the lights are out. It's been a good start from Jensen Button. And look, a Pedersen's flying round. He's tapped the back of the, of the Shannon, but no problems into the first corner. Everyone gets around safely. And it's Jensen Button leading from Maldonado Vettel. It was Vettel that was flying. He's got past Senna for third as well. Pantano four, fifth. Raikkonen sixth, Clean and Kubica, both up a position. So it's been a bad start from seventh place Sutil. As we go around the Lowe's hairpin. And now underneath the tunnel. It's Jensen Button leading up. And he's pulling away massively already from Maldonado. He's just dis disappeared. This is an unbelievable performance from Jensen. It must be up to three seconds already. It's, it's 2.6, which is close enough. And Vettel under pressure from Senna for third place. And there's Adrian Suttle, who himself is behind, and the Schakenbeck, and that's a smoking Andy racing of PK already. It's only his second lap. And Webber's crashed again at the swimming pool, this time at the exit. So Webber out already. Qualified 12th. And here we see Fernando Alonso being pressured by a Dodgem. He's trying to chase next lead and he's run wide and smashed into the barrier. Alonso's out again. No, they're all dodging him. The dodging behind tapped him a little bit and smashing into the barriers goes Bordet for Exelite. And the dodging dodges him. The Exelites have looked a little bit off the pace compared to what they usually are, but Bordet pushing a bit too hard. And is that Rosberg with a problem? That's another retirement. FJR have. That's FJR's second double retirement in a row. And out goes a... That's a Shannon. I think it's Maldonado. It is Maldonado. He's out. From second place. So Vettel takes it over, does he? He's caught up in a traffic jam almost. And smashing into the back of Maldonado. Who was that? I think that was Senna. It was. The teammates collide and Pantano is sliding all over the place. we got debris all over the place and Raikkonen smashed into a tyre. Well, this is this is action and Kubik is going to run wide at Massonet. I saw that. Into the swimming pool. He's going to He's not recovered that. He's smashed into the barrier at the exit. And Senna, having rejoined from a pit stop, back up to fifth place. This will move Suttil up to 6th and then Raikkonen back up to 7th after his unscheduled stop. Vettel challenging Clean for 3rd place into the chicane. Ooh, just enough space for him to get through there. Good driving from the pair of them. Meanwhile it's the Tornado 1-2 up front, Button from Pantano. As we look at Genet challenging a Dodgem at the chicane. And he's got through. Some impressive driving there around effectively the outside of the right handers. This is Pantano. And Senna's got back up to third place, but Pantano on the harder tyres getting through. So Pantano back up to third place and Vettel's made two stops. Now it now the race is shaking out. Clean has shown having not made a pit stop, now has made a pit stop. And up the inside of Senna goes 
Vettel moves up to third place. Raikkonen smoke coming from his tyres then. He's pushing hard. He's pushed too hard! Raikkonen is out from seventh place. He's chasing Sutil for sixth. So, good performance from Pedersen has been blotted slightly by Raikkonen. Now we look at Kleon. About to challenge Vettel for third place. Up the inside is the chicane. And he's done it. Good hard racing from these two. Vettel got past earlier. But Kleon now repaying repaying the price as we saw Mitchell getting past Coulthard for ninth place could be crucial if another retirement happens and into the pits comes Sutil for a pit stop and so does Hamilton so who can get out first will it be the Andy Racing of Sutil or will it be the Shake and Bake of Hamilton let's have a look at Hamilton's stop And it's 9.7 seconds. And Sutil's slop. He's, he's done it. Hamilton's got ahead of him. So good pit work from the shake and bake. And look at that, some action. And we look at Senna in fifth place. He's locked up into Sandy Vaught and he's crashed. Senna a bit eager to do well has crashed it. That'll hand 5th place to Hamilton and 6th and 7th to Suttil and Glock respectively. It's still Jensen Button leading and Coulthard is out. He's pulled off at Massonet and it's a suspension problem with the Lodgem. And Georgia Pantana running in 2nd place. It's, been, it's a Tornado 1 2 so far. And He's just hit the barrier then. He's, he's pulling off, is he? Tornado will not have a 1-2. Pantano is out of the race. That's good news for Christian Kleon, who moves up to second and limiting the damage. He's preserving his championship lead very well. It's Sebastian Vettel moving up into third place as well. Lewis Hamilton up to fourth. It's been a good solid drive from him from 10th on the grid. It's also been a good race from Suttle and Glock. More so from Glock as he started 20th. Now, since Pantano crashed out with just a handful of laps to go, it'll be interesting to see if he still made the top eight, but his teammate is way above that position with a win. Christian Kleon comes home second. Vettel completes the podium. And Pantano did indeed take 7th place ahead of 8th place Sebastian Buemi. High attrition rate, 10 retirements, including both FJRs again, both Shannons, and the ex-elite of Bordet. So the championship now, Button closes in a little bit on Cleon. Alonso still remains in 3rd, thanks to Pantano's crash. And Senna still remains fifth, but he's now got Vettel chasing him. And Guy Racing still remain top of the Constructors' Championship, but Tornado looming large. And they're tight battle for third as well between FJR, Pedersen and Shannon. Next stop, Montreal, Canada.